Well hi everybody and welcome back to Not Another Bonsai Channel. Well in this episode it's going to be a little bit more spooky than usual because on this one we are going to be working on our Halloween challenge bonsai spooky display and you might see that I'm not at home today. I'm actually in this field which I'll give you a nice uh, look at in a minute but this actually has a very dark past this park and I'm, I'll explain all of this to you in this video. So just look at the scenes in this park. We can see there's some fantastic trees growing around here. Some beautiful trees on a day like today and the sun is, is shining. There's only a few clouds in the sky. It's an absolutely gorgeous day and it's an absolute pleasure to be in this park. But this park does have a very gruesome history. And that is, this used to be where they used to carry out public executions. Now what they used to do, if we just go over here, to where you can see this play area. It's kind of ironic that they have that swing set just there because this is where they used to have a gallows or scaffold and this is where they used to publicly execute people and hang people. Now if we just look up at that gate, that's where I came in. So what they used to do, and this is just going by speculation because there isn't a lot of documentation on this, but it's just going by my judgment and what I can see here. But what they would have done is the executioner, along with the criminal of the day that was due to be executed, they would come down here, they'd be marched down here. Now again, these trees and bushes may not have been here at that time, but they would have been marched down here towards the scaffold on this far end. And then the person then to be executed would be led up the scaffold, a noose would be put around their neck. They would maybe have the final few words to say, a hood in many cases would have been put over their heads and the executioner would pull the lever and through the trap hatch they would fall. So this is where it all took place. You can imagine the scaffold would have been just here. It's kind of ironic they have a play area here, you know, for such a gruesome past. It's not exactly a place where you would have thought kids would want to play, but you can imagine the criminal of the day would have been led up onto the scaffold and there they would have hung to their death and not only would have they have died here, but they would have had a crowd watching. I hope I don't get too much glare on my camera because it's quite a sunny day, but you can see the full size of this park. Now again, as I said earlier, I'm not sure if all of these trees would have been there. That's hard to, hard to know, but it's an absolutely huge park. And this is where the crowds used to flood in to witness the, the criminal of the day being hung and uh, to be put to death. And you can see it's an absolutely huge park. So, you know, hundreds, maybe even thousands of people would have come here and attended to watch the criminal of the day come up onto the scaffold and hang to their death. So a little bit of gruesome history there for you and just part of the history of the town where I live. Um, but it has given me a lot of inspiration. So I think I'm gonna head back home and we'll work on what I'm gonna do with the bonsai challenge. So here we are back in the bonsai area and it's a few days since I filmed that last section but now that we're back here we have to make a big decision and that is which tree do we use for the bonsai Halloween challenge? Mm. I think it's got to be this one. So I think for this challenge we're going to go ahead and use my camellia bonsai. Now, you may have seen this in an earlier video. Um, a few months back, I repotted this and, and turned this into a, a bonsai from a, a patio uh, tree, basically. I cut it down and uh, since then it's recovered and it's grown well. But for this challenge and for this video, uh, what I liked about it is it's nice horizontal branches. And uh, I think you know where I'm going with what I'm gonna do with this tree. So if I just take the tree to the side for a minute, you can see over here, I have a little pile of model skeletons. Now, when I bought these, these little skeletons came with pieces of rope. So what you could do, and what I'm gonna do for this, I'm gonna tie some bits of rope around their necks, packed as nooses, like I've done with that one. And I'm going to tie some bits of string around their hands, tying the hands behind their backs like that, hoping that we could tie them to the trunks of the tree, kind of like that. 
So each of these have varying lengths of, of string, so we have to you know, choose our placement carefully. But uh, I think what we'd do, let's start with the ones for the, you know, that we're going to tie to the trunk first. So that would be this one, and then I have another one, so that'd be this one. By accident, and that's a lot of a lot of string on that one. Right, so let's start with this one. So you can see with this tree, we do have two trunks, so that makes this perfect. Um, what we could do is. I'm hoping I could put one just in there. Yeah, I think that's going to work really well. And then the other one I could put just in there. I think that's going to look perfect. So victim number one, your fate awaits you. So I think he will go just in there. And what I like about this trunk is it does curve. It curves around so we can really tuck that in. So what I'm hoping, if I can wrap this around the trunk just like so. Might be able to go a few times. Get a bit of. Yeah, that should be enough. I can always cut off any excess. They get us nice and tight. Take it around over his waist, like so. If I can get my fingers in there, that's it. So, quite fiddly getting the knot tied on that one, but there is victim number one tied to the tree. Right, so victim number two. Your fate awaits you. And that'd be this chap here, another one who has his hands tied behind his back. He can go, I was thinking, just in there. Right, so victim number three. You can go, I think you can go on this branch here. So these are the two, these two will be hung from the branches. So this chap, I think, can hang. Yeah, he can hang just in here. That's going to look really good. So let's tie him off. Right, now the other chap I thought could hang from this branch just over here. So we just reach over, I'm thinking, we'll just weave that in between those two, two big leaves just there. I'm thinking he can sit around about there. Or should he go closer? Should he go closer? He could go here. Yeah, he could go there. That's not, or is that too? No, let's go further out because otherwise there won't be enough space. Yeah, that's good. I like it there. So this is it, guys, our, our Halloween. Hanging tree is coming together. This is fantastic. Let's find a level bit of the table. There you go, that, that'll do. Yes, we have our two guys hanging from the branches on the sides, our two victims in the middle that have met their fate and their bodies have just decayed whilst being tied to these posts or, tr uh, with posts or tr tree trunks even. Um, yeah, excellent. Well, we have one spare noose. So I was thinking for sort of just effect, uh, let's, you know, just have this hanging randomly from a branch, just like, you know, just to give the impression that well, maybe there's another victim on their way and they're going to be hanging from this tree or, you know, maybe there was a victim once that, you know, his body for whatever reason has been taken away. Uh, and I'm, I'm liking that branch there. I think that's good. Is there another branch that could work? Uh, as we put it in here. Could put it in there. That's not a bad idea. I could stick it in there. Yeah, I might stick it in there because I think there's going to be a bit too high. So let's, let's just come over here. Just the same as what we did before. Leave it like that. Tie it off. There's a lot of string on this one. So just wrap it round the branch. Wrap it round the branch. Keep going round the branch. And that is good. So this is it, guys. The Halloween hanging tree. I think it's looking excellent. Now, I wanted to do a hanging tree, uh, not only because of what we saw earlier on in the video, you know, about the, you know, the town's dark past with carrying out public executions, but also as a way of recognizing some parts of history. So, you know, you don't have to look too far back in history where you can see, you know, brutality and just the wicked treatment of, uh, you know, how, how people used to be executed. You know, and, and especially with English history, you know, some of the ways that they carried out executions in the past really boggles the mind as to how any human being could come up with an, that idea. But, you know, it, it's something that we do need to remember. It did happen. And, um, you know, I think displays like this really, really remember that. And, and uh, what better time to put that on display than at Halloween? So, you know, here we have it, the 
Halloween bonsai hanging tree. Well, thanks for joining me on this one, guys. It's uh, sure been a fun project to work on. Uh, this challenge is open to anybody, uh, and uh, it has gone out. I did do a, a like an introduction video about a month and a half ago, inviting anybody to come in and take part in this challenge. If you do, and you have done, and you have released a video, uh, please do let me know. Um, you can either email me or let me know directly, or, or if you just put a hashtag in your video description, just hashtag NABC Halloween Challenge. That's NABC Halloween Challenge. If you put that in your video description, I'll try and find it, and when I do, I'll stick it in the NABC Halloween Challenge uh, playlist that I have on my channel. And what I do is I share all of these Halloween displays um, on my channel and in that playlist, and hopefully everybody can you know come and, and see them and enjoy them but yeah this is my this is my entry into the into the challenge the, the uh, halloween hanging tree <laughs> well i hope you enjoyed this one guys and uh yeah i look forward to seeing all of the other youtube creators halloween displays and uh yeah i guess until next time have a great day have a fantastic halloween and i'll see you on the next one